Hey everybody, welcome to another Landmark Live. It's episode four already. Can you believe that? They said we would never last. But here we are, and we're broadcasting live and in color from the hopping streets of downtown Platte City on Main Street around the Platte County Courthouse Square. It's Sample the City tonight, sponsored by the Platte City Chamber of Commerce. Over 60 vendors lining the street out there. It is hopping. In fact, it's so noisy, we've had to move the start of the show inside so you at home can hear what we're saying. And you don't want to miss anything we're saying, right? Get ready. We're going to have another game of fact or crap tonight. You know the rules by now. I want you to like or comment sometime throughout the show. That gives you the opportunity to be a contestant and win a prize during fact or crap. And do you know what we have tonight? We have two tickets to Clint Black this weekend at Ameristar Casino. We also have Kansas City Renaissance Festival tickets and any anything else we have in our landmark prize grab. You, you'd be ready to, to just reach your hand in there and get any prize you want tonight, basically. All right, so again, 60 vendors. If you're not already in downtown Platte City, come on down. There's live music, actually not live music, there's recorded music. We have food trucks. We have uh, clubs and organizations. We have businesses, home-based businesses. As I said, over 60 booths. It's just a happening, happening place tonight. And again, we have a special guest host tonight. This lady has known me for 27 years, and I've known her for 27 years too. What a coincidence. She's a, she's a life coach. She's a counselor. She's a vintage home decorator. She's a wine connoisseur. And we'll touch on all those things tonight. But first, let's welcome to the show, Alyssa Shiflett. Alyssa, thanks for joining us tonight. Oh, no, thank you. It's, it's a privilege. No, it's really not, but it, 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 we, we appreciate you coming on board with us here tonight. Let's talk a little bit first, because I just passed the uh, wine and beer tent out there on the street, and I know you know wines. I mean, you, you've tried to get me Hi. into wines. I've been, I've been a little bit resistant. Um, I don't know. First, That's one way to put it. Yeah, what is your, what is your favorite wine? Do you have a favorite? I do. I, I prefer dry red, um, but I'm not really very picky. Just, really? Yeah. Um, as long as it doesn't taste like vinegar, because that's happened. Before. Oh, you've, you've had a bad experience? Bad experience. With red? You've had, you've had a bad experience with a dry red? Yes. That Tasting tasted, like vinegar. Oh, it tasted like straight-ass vinegar. <laughs> That, yes. <laughs> oh, that does not sound good. I've had a lot of, I've had a couple of bad experiences with red wine. I, I used to drink white, and I've always heard that when you're when you're younger, you'll start with white wine, and then when you grow up, you switch to red. So obviously, you've already grown up. You're, you're quickly, already into the reds. Yeah, yeah. And but. and you said you said dry red. Yes. And, I mean, don't let one bad experience get you down. Well, I've had two. Oh, I've well. Had two, so, but keep it going. But the dry red, the dry red is what you recommend? I, yes. Are there any particular uh, wineries that, that you like uh, over the other? I mean, are, uh, are they all on your to-do list? Well, I'm not going to turn any of them down, but we seem to find ourselves at Tipple Hill Tipple quite Hill. often. Tipple Hill. Uh, windy seen, Wine. Yes. I've seen Windy Wine. I'm not familiar with that one. Windy Wine. You've been there. It must have oh, been one of those experiences. I, was, I, was, I don't recall <laughs> that night. Do you have any that's out in That's out in my hood. Okay, all right. So now let's move on to your to your skills as a vintage home decorator. I know you're a big fan of the Chip and Joanna show on HGTV, right? Big fan. Tell yes. us tell us a little bit. I mean, you're really into the ship lab. Yes. Right? So tell us a little bit about your experience with vintage home decor. Um, well, not, I mean, experience, I guess I decorated my own house based yes. on their style. So I like old stuff and chippy stuff. Chippy stuff. And rusty stuff. Chippy stuff. Is that a reference to Chip and Joanne? <laughs> I'm a big fan of Chip. We have a lot in common, like animal lovers. And yeah. We both like Joe a lot. <laughs> so now when, you, when you're when you looking to, to incorporate a piece of vintage into your home, what do you do? You just go out to the barn and find find something that looks like junk, and then yeah. you, you strip it down and clean it up and bring it in and hang <laughs> it on the wall or something? What what exactly do you do? Or do you go shopping? Do you, do you create your own or do you... Oh, no, no, no. Don't create my own. But I, I am going to Zona Rosa Vintage Days tomorrow. Um, That's big. I go to other antique stores in the area. Weston has good antique places. Um, well, that'll be like Christmas for you, the Zona Rosa oh, Vintage okay. Market. Well, you, you won't be able to sleep the night before, will you? <laughs> no, I'm already getting antsy. Right. Remember, folks, fact or crap coming up soon. Also remember, 
If you're not already in downtown Platte City, you need to be because this place is hopping. They've got the music cranked. There are booths, there's food trucks, anything you want, you can find it down here tonight. You need to get down here. If the noise will allow us, we'll get out on the street later and try to run into a couple people if, if the sound quality will allow us to do that. But Alyssa, again, so, I mean, you've got some experience as a counselor. I mean, you've worked with me, right? You've, seen, you've been my life coach. How do you think that's going? <laughs> Is that going well for we're, us? We're about to break our confidentiality. I th oh, that's rules, true. Well, so. I'm giving you permission. <laughs> I'm giving you. I'm allowing you to break that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, there's always room for improvement, and there's. It's important to recognize that. I do recognize that, but I appreciate all you've done for me <laughs> so far, and and you haven't sent me a bill yet, which is good. Oh, you should no. probably just get your own booth out there tonight. Put a sign that says "Life Coach," <laughs> yes. and, and help the folks that are walking by. Self-named Life Coach. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think that would work for you, actually. Worth a shot. I mean. So and now and you were and your husband Todd, a uh, he's a very decorated uh, woodsman, craftsman, right? A woodworker, and he in fact has the barrel that we found in the basement of the landmark. Yes. Uh, way back in the summertime, and and how's how's Todd doing with that barrel? Will we ever see it again? Well, it's debatable. Right now, it's in a lot of pieces, um, but he's hoping to get it all back together, get some new metal rings to keep it all attached, because that was. Problem. Yeah, and he's ordered those, right? He told me he's got those. Something, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Whatever he told you is. And, and we're gonna totally make that. Accurate. We're gonna make that like a tabletop, right? We're gonna have the, the barrels good. gonna be the base. Fancy tabletop, vintage. Where's that gonna go? I don't know yet. Vintage landmark. It's gonna be awesome, you guys. And by the way, speaking of the landmark basement, we will be there during the week of Halloween, broadcasting live from the haunted landmark basement crawl space. We're going to do a later show that night. It is going to be spooky. I'm scared just thinking about it. I haven't been down there since we were there in June, okay? It's going to be, it's just going to be nasty and spooky and scary. And we are looking for a couple of brave volunteers to maybe go down with us that night and be a part of the show. I think, you know, maybe Eric Jennings, he was with us again. He and Eric, Eric likes to sponsor Landmark Live. In fact, tonight, Eric Jennings Real Estate sponsoring Landmark Live. Again, he's back for two. He had such good luck and such good response to his first sponsorship of Landmark Live. He's back for more. And again, we've got a very special guest about to enter the door. Look at, look at who's opening the door right here in our <laughs> Landmark building. Looky there, it is Mayor Frank Offit and the First Lady, Platte City Mayor Frank Offit. Thank you for coming by, sir. It's our pleasure. Thank well, you, Ivan. Well, you're a good man. Thanks. Nice to see you tonight. I and it's good to see you, and, and too, And you brought Ivan. the First Lady. Hello, First Hello. Lady. Nice, nice to, to see, see you. you. Elizabeth so, and I are very pleased to be here in the historical free press event known as the Platte County Landmark you are a supporter of the free press, and we appreciate that. Yeah. Step on over this way, All Elizabeth. Right. Let's get you and Frank both in the in the in the camera shot here. I mean, this is a big event out there tonight, Mayor. Look at all the action. Yes. Isn't it nice? It's amazing. The I mean, weather is right. I think it's only because you're open on a Thursday night. That is that is probably it. And you're dressed for snow. I mean, man, you're, it's hot out there. Boy Scout, you always want to be prepared. Okay. It could right. change. Hey, could, if we could get a snow, it is always a little bit later. Flat city. Yes. Now, in your in your time as mayor, in your 47 years as mayor, <laughs> Uh, is this the largest downtown Platte City event that you've ever seen? I'm waiting for Sean Spencer to give me uh, some feedback on this because I understand he's the official counter. I don't know who Sean Spencer is. Spicer? Oh, Spicer! Spicer! Spicer. Spicer. Yeah, yeah. Spicer, Spicer Spencer. Yeah. 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 Now, there were a couple of uh, Harley Hog rallies way back in the day that I understand drew thousands and thousands of people, but I wasn't involved in those, yeah, so I can't, I can't. No comment. Okay, no comment. But this event is really large. It nice? Nice. The chamber's really doing a nice job with this one, aren't they? And the number of vendors out tonight? Fantastic. I'd say it's one of the best cross sections of an event on Main Street we've had in some time. Absolutely. Men, women, all kinds out there. Boys, girls. Boys, girls, yes. Gender neutral. We've got everything. Dogs. Dogs and cats. Have you seen Two, cat? Uh, yes. I saw dogs and cats playing together right out front. It was amazing. <laughs> You've got the place. Now, Frank, tell us a little bit. What is going on in the city of Platte City? Just give us a little bit. I mean, you've got the great event going tonight, but what else is happening? Well, economic development is star number one. I tell you what, there's so much that's going to break loose here in just a few weeks that there's going to be construction. Orange cones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you talking about on Highway 92? What are we uh, talking about? Highway 92 corridor. 
is going to be alive and with the breakout over to the east side of I-29 after these 30 years of preparing for it, okay. movement is off and running. Yeah, excellent. excellent. Yes. Excellent. Double the size of Platte City. Now, what about your city administrator, D.J. Gert? I understand he's doing a fine job, would you say? D.J. Garrett's doing a great job. Did, did I pronounce his name right? Garrett. 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 It's not spelled that way, right? I'm trying to pronounce it as it's spelled. I well, it's, it's a hooked on phonics thing for me. I know, I know. Okay. It's a challenge. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's Margie Gare. But she does not have a T. No All T. Right? Okay. No T. All right. No All T. Right. No T. No Elizabeth, what is your favorite? Did you walk around out here yet? What is what's your favorite? We just came right to you. Oh, we, we as you should. As you. as you should. We and we told everybody that. else, I'm sorry, we have to see Ivan first, Thank and then you. we'll be back. Well, you're, you're good. We and I take direction well. So that's, yeah, that's, that's yeah. Out here. Well, I got a little worried because yeah, I mean, you, you've been busy doing some road work around town, in, south of town, uh, in, in the highway, your, in highway with your duties as Platte City Special Road, and that's going to be quite a boulevard when it's open, right? It's going to be a great addition. And give us the opening date. Do you know yet? Officially, it will be open Monday. Monday. Okay. Monday. Awesome. But you might be able to drive on it maybe a few hours in between or before. But awesome. officially open Monday. We may what? have to go out there doing special landmark live when it opens up. I mean, it's, it's with the paint's dry. A highly anticipated event, Frank. Very patient, but I think people will receive the efforts of the special in the county new park trail. Yes, I think it'd be time roundabout to roundabout, so there's that continuity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you do you think we'll ever get DJ on a show? I invited him, and, and his first answer was, "Well, the mayor is really good at that." So I don't think I don't think DJ would you would you just tell DJ sometime to come be on the sure, Could come. you please give him the order, the executive order? Because he'd be really good as a guest. I mean, we would we would have fun with DJ, right? I, He's got a great sense of humor. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. I'll see what I can do. All right. see Performance evaluation time, maybe we'll see what we can do. We appreciate that. And remember, folks, hit like or comment. Get your name out there because when we are ready to play fact or crap, we're going to choose somebody whose name has popped up. You're going to play along for a chance to win two tickets to Clint Black. Mayor, have you ever been to a Clint Black concert? Never. I've never been fortunate enough. Oh, absolutely. Elizabeth, you? No, nope, never have. Uh, have you ever been to the Renaissance Festival? We have tickets for yes, there as well. Yes, I have been to the Renaissance Are you a Renaissance fan? Yes. 